Welcome back to Web Cafe, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos on leveraging it for your personal and business life. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an overview of PromptBase, a marketplace where you can sell prompts for AI. And I'm gonna show you at the end of this video a specific GBT prompt that will allow you to generate prompts for mid journey, ChatGBT, Dale, and more. All right, to start off, we're going to understand what your profile means, ways to optimize your profile, and overall how we can approach this platform. As you see here at Web Cafe, you can even check us out in the description below. We've been on this platform for a while, and we're already one of the top ranked sellers here, top 100, and we have a ton of prompts that we've created. And what's great is if you stay tuned, you're going to learn how we generated every single one of these prompts and the skills to optimize these prompts. First, let's go ahead and just do an overview of this platform. So go ahead and click the link below and you'll be able to get to a page like this. And from here, all you need to do is press login, create an account, register either by doing a personal email or just with Google. And then once you've created an account, this is going to give you the ability to start selling on the platform and start buying on the platform. Now, the platform itself is essentially encompassing all, you know, relevant AI prompts that we've seen these past couple months, such as GBT, such as Dale, such as mid journey prompt based stable diffusion. And essentially, the way this marketplace works is uh, users like you and I can essentially list a prompt that does a very specific output execution. So for example, this context, a Dale prompt that executes elegant letter logos, and essentially, you'd be able to buy this prompt for $4. And then you'll be able to use a prompt that was able to give you that specific output coming over looking at gbt you'll be able to find a bunch of gbt prompts and for example looking at seasonal fashion fashion recommendations and as you see here it'll be able to give an example input and then an example output and then if i was interested in buying this i'll be able to say get prompt and then proceed to checkout now, a couple things I want to point out is the first thing is that if you're selling a GBT prompt, these little logos, you don't have to personally deal with those logos. It's actually automatically put on by prompt basis backend of what they feel is the best logo that is, you know, associated with your GBT prompt. When it comes to the logos for AI art and AI generation for uh, image generation, this is going to be the images that you provide and you upload. And from there, you'll be able to basically set up your thumbnails in the back end, which I'm going to show later in this tutorial. So one last thing I wanted to point out here is that this platform also gives you the ability to hire prompt engineers for specific contexts such as GBT, mid journey, stable diffusion, and so on. On top of that, once you start selling on this platform, I believe it's you have to get up to 10 sales or 50 sales and we'll be able to check that out. Um, and then you'll be able to sit, uh, list yourself as an individual who can make prompts and get paid for them. For example, if you come over here, you can see us right here at Web Cafe for one of the top GBT engineers. Once you've created your account, you'll be able to get access to a backend like this. Your dashboard is just going to be your general analytics, your favorites, your purchases, your Stripe dashboard. You're going to go ahead and set that up. That's how you're going to be able to get that directly deposited into your bank account. And then this takes you to your public profile, as you saw before. And from there, you can basically edit your public profile, put in a nice thumbnail, a nice backing, and you'll be able to add your social links. In order to do so, you'll just click edit profile. And on top of that, what you'll be able to do is you can look at analytics on specific prompts. So you just click your prompt and you can jump over to analytics here and you'll be able to see how many people viewed the prompt, uh, the amount of sales you made on it, the amount of favorites you have on it. And you can set different parameters with these little functions here. And from here, you'll be able to just get an old overall idea of what your prompt is doing and how it's performing. Now, the next really cool feature that prompt base released recently is the bundles feature. So essentially what this allows you to do is it allows you to take similar prompts and attach them together. So for example, this prompt right here is a painter's artistic aesthetics toolkit, and it has a little description. And now you can basically buy all four of these prompts with a 20% discount. And how this looks in the front end is if I want to go ahead and click this prompt right here, and I scroll down, you'll see that it shows up at the bottom and every single one of these has the little bundle thing at the bottom. This is a great way to pair prompts that are very similar together and possibly get you know conversions on the underlying prompts as a bundle rather than a solo sale. Next, as you see here, we get access to perks, which is new of prompt base as well. And essentially what perks do is 
when you reach a certain sale amount, you'll get access to um, certain like more leverage within uh, using the platform. For example, when I hit 300 sales, I was able to get seven pending prompts in review. And from here, you can keep going down. And if I get a thousand, I'll get a top seller badge on my profile and uh, prompt pages. And as you see, it goes all the way up. And I'm assuming over time they'll add more and more tiers. So it goes all the way to 8,000 and it keeps going here. This is a pretty cool feature here. It shows basically that they're respecting and they want to basically grow a longevity partnership when you start selling on their platform. Now your purchases tabs is what you have purchased personally on the platform. Your favorites tabs is what you have favorited personally on this platform. Now settings, this is where you can adjust your username and you can adjust what you want to be notified um by the back end by prompt base so this is going to be by email and then this is just going to be that little bell up there and then over here if you hit your sales tab you'll be able to see all the sales live as they come in from the platform and then the source that it assumes it's coming from so as you see here it's from marketplace prompt and favorite would be if a person favorited and then came back to your prompt later and purchased all right, and then if you come up here, you have a chat option as well. And this is where individuals reach out to you if they have a question about your prompt. And then you can also, you know, get in discussion with other people on the platform about XYZ things. But this is a nice little module that they give you access to, to basically talk to other people on the platform. For example, this individual asked me a specific question for the SEO article generator they had purchased. And then I went ahead and helped them out. All right, from here, let's go ahead and list a prompt together. And we're going to go ahead and start the process of building up that GBT prompt I talked about earlier in this video and showing you how to leverage GBT to sell more GBT prompts or any other type of prompt in that context. We're going to go ahead and use GBT4 as this is going to be a comprehensive way to generate effective prompts relative to using 3.5. Now, in the context of when you've searched through prompt base, you'll notice there is a lot of prompt generators. I don't find those effective at all because at the end of the day, you can't just use one prompt to generate more prompts. In order to have effective prompts be the output, we're gonna have to fine tune the chat. So we're gonna start with this little paragraph to begin with. And basically, we're gonna really describe what's going on here. And then we're gonna describe even more how to structure these prompts so we can you know, come back to this chat in the future and just keep pumping out more prompts for any context. So what we're looking at here is ChatGPT prompts are being currently being sold. Please generate some prompts you think could have value to users of ChatGPT. They can be complex as you want. Make sure to title each one and give a brief description of use case. Make sure to also provide the prompt as well in quotation marks. Now I wanna point out a couple things here. Obviously we want a title when we list them. We want a little description when we list them and then this should give us a prompt as long with it. But you'll notice that this first generation is not gonna be what we're looking for because it's not structured correctly. All right, so I'm gonna stop the generation a little early and we're gonna add another sentence here to identify a better structured uh, prompt so it's easier for you to copy and paste. We're gonna go say, make sure to identify what should be the variable and then we want little square brackets as that is the main way we identify variables on the prompt-based platform. All right, so we're one step closer. As you see here, it's identifying the variables in the brackets here, but I'm still not liking the way it's structured. So we're gonna add one last prompt here to fine tune this chat one last time. And essentially what we're gonna say is please structure the prompts just you just generated like this. Only use this as reference for structuring. And as, is, as you see here, if I can speak, you'll see that the entire prompt is you know, identified here. And then we have the you know, variables requested in that prompt at the end. This is nice structuring. This makes it a lot easier for the people purchasing your product to un understand essentially how to use your product. All right, so as you see here, it is doing the correct structuring. I'm liking how it's looking, um, but let's go ahead and start utilizing it for more specific use cases because now we've identified the purpose of this chat. We've identified the way to structure the outputs of this chat. Now we can do stuff like this, more prompts around, uh, we can go ahead and say business uh, utility. So the idea now essentially is that GBT will start, it understands purpose it understands the structuring and now i want it to generate prompts but i want to make sure these prompts are based around business utility and let's see what gbt comes up with all right so as you see here we were able to get four different prompt examples for example competitor analysis it gave you the prompt that's very specific uh very niche down and then also asked you know essentially the variables to input for that specific prompt so you'll be able to now be uh get prompts automatically now one thing i'm noticing here though is it's not giving a description so we go ahead and say from here on out, uh, also include a description of what the prompt 
does. So let's go ahead and see if it understands that. There we go. All right, perfect. So as you see here, now we get the description for every single prompt that we're going to be able to utilize and put over to prompt base, which is going to allow us to list prompts a lot faster. We have it structured perfectly where we get the prompt, the underlying variables that could be input in the prompt for the exact output. From here, you can even tailor your prompts further by asking for specific types of prompts. So in that context, I went ahead and just said more prompts for SEO article generation. And then as you see here, we're going to get a bunch of prompts and their titles, SEO founded or SEO focus article on digital marketing trends, SEO article on e-commerce best practices, SEO friendly content for sustainable living and so on. But maybe, maybe you're like, hey, these are too general. I just need, or sorry, these are too niche down for SEO article generation. You can go like this, more prompts on SEO article generation for general use. Let me input the topic of the article and word count. So now what you have the ability to do, is essentially talk to GBT like a human and essentially lay out exactly what you want to prompt. And then it's going to perfectly structure that prompt and have it available for sale or personal use. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. But as you see here, we got the article topic, the word count you can input, and you can go ahead and utilize that. Now that you know how to utilize this fine tuned chat, a couple of tips I have for you is go ahead and make sure you rename it to, you know, GBT uh, prompts or whatever you want to rename it as. And then I would suggest you favorite on your bookmark bar. So now in the future, if you ever want to come back to this specific fine tune chat, you just click it straight in your bookmark bar. All right, so let's go to the final stage of today's tutorial and let's go ahead and list these together and get better ideas of what we can do from here. So today I'm going to go ahead and list this specific prompt. And what I typically do is add it to my notes pad. Once I have it in my notes pad, let's go ahead and just create a new chat. And then we're going to go to GPT four here. And then what I like to do and make your life easier here, we're going to go ahead and copy our prompt here. All right, so while editing, this part of the video got corrupted, so I'm reshooting it. But all I did essentially was pasted the prompt. I added this line here, input the requested variables. And as you see here, GPT-4 was able to identify the requesting variables here that we use later in this video. From here, essentially what I did was I jumped over to sell your prompts. And from that copy and paste that I got from the older chat, I went ahead and just grabbed the title, pasted it over here like this. And then I grabbed the description that was given by GPT as well paste that over as well and then let's go ahead and make sure delete these little asterisks and then one thing i suggest you to do when you're pasting a portfolio is to make sure you have a call to action so for our context we do follow web cafe for more prompts and we associate web cafe with a coffee emoji i would encourage you to associate your profile with an emoji as you'll see you'll universally get more traction and more traffic as people realize how active you are on the profile and on the platform but from here we're going to go ahead with the floor price of $3.99 and I'll see you in later this video. All right. So I went ahead and pasted over the input variables that GBT suggested. Now, one real quick suggestion is I would suggest using less uh, data for each input might scare the potential buyer if there's too much information. But for now, this is sufficient enough. We're going to go ahead and up our engine to GBT four. And then for the preview input, that's essentially what we just pasted here. And then for the output, all we need to do is come back to GBT and then copy this. We're just going to drag our cursor over all of this. We're going to command C, come back here, command V. And then what I like to do is simply say input requested variables. So we paste this here and then we're going to delete this and we're just going to grab our variables. From there, we're going to go ahead and hit next. And there we go. We have officially listed our prompt on prompt base. Now what we can do while we wait is it will slowly load one of these icons. So let's go ahead and see what icon it chose for us. Now, while we wait for it to find the icon, one thing I want to point out is once you submit, let's say you want to edit something because you feel like you want to add more information or edit the initial prompt. All you would need to do is come up here to this little pencil icon, press edit profile or edit uh, prompt. And then that will allow you to basically input additional information or remove information. And then essentially you'll have the updated version on your profile. All right, perfect. So as you see right there, prompt base gave us a nice little icon. And as you see, it usually associates with the underlying prompt and its potential, which is going to be marketing campaigns. Overall, that concludes today's tutorial. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It is completely free here at Web Cafe. Make sure to subscribe as we do a bunch of tutorials with ChatGBT, automations, and how to leverage AI in your personal and business life. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. 
And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.